If you are one of the many people who are affected by allergies, diabetes, gut pain, skin disorders, heart disease, arthritis, and any other condition ending in itis, there are foods that will assist your body to heal itself. Judy Daniluk is a nutritionist, a reality television show host of The Healthy Gourmet, and the chief nutritionist for a health food store in Toronto called The Big Carrot Natural <laughs> Food Market. Her new book is called Meals That Heal Inflammation. It is my pleasure to welcome Julie Daniluk to Studio 4 to tell us more. Great. I'm so happy to be here. Well, the nutritional word of the year is inflammation. Yes. Is it not? Or it the is. medical word of the year is inflammation. Yes, because it's in the background of every major illness, and that's why I wrote the book. And I also had a personal healing crisis where I realized I mm -hmm. had to turn this around or what was my future and I wanted to ensure that I could walk my talk and sure. really use these foods as a healing tool. And someone said to you, why don't you get to the bottom of this, Julie? Yes, my hubby. <laughs> yeah. Your hubby said, why don't you get to the bottom of what's aching you mm -hmm. or paining you? Mm -hmm. And what was paining you? Did you figure it yes, out? Yes, I had a severe um, infection in Thailand and the infection raged through my digestive tract, mm. a food poisoning. And I was, I was paralyzed temporarily from it. My muscles just wouldn't work. And when I was finished, I, I was allergic to everything because there was such damage to my gut lining. And so when I came home, I had to retrain my body, go back to baby food, and then introduce one food at a time. So I was able to journal and figure out what mm. foods were causing inflammation. So what is inflammation, really? Sure. Well, inflammation is our immune response to any sort of uh, injury agent, anything mm. that injures us. So that can be infections that set in. That can be irritations from allergies that we're consuming, toxins from our environment. It can also be any sort of hormonal mm -hmm. imbalance that can cause it. And, uh, you know, emotional injury can even mm -hmm. cause extreme spikes in cortisol, mm -hmm. our stress hormone, that can impact mm -hmm. our inflammation. And I hear tell you cannot prevent it with uh, drugs or surgery. You can aid it. Sure. You can make somebody feel better. Sure. And but this you can can't really fix it. Yeah, this helps with the true healing because you can have surgery, but how do you recover from that surgery mm -hmm. can make a big difference on whether you'll need further impact later on in life. And that's why what I love about this is we're I try to think of all the damage we're doing with uh, refined foods as like a credit card and we're making a withdrawal from mm -hmm. our system. All these high nutrient density foods give back to our system so we're filling back up the bank account. So when we have something that we come across, we're ready to deal with it. Our immune system can handle it. And there's a science of inflammation, I know, but down mm -hmm. to the basics, mm -hmm. really, the basics. Sure. Uh, you can enjoy a cookie and let it go. Yes, you can. But if you are going to go on an anti-inflammatory diet. Where mm -hmm. would you start? How would sure. you start? I would start by adding in the seven to 10 veggies and three fruits a day that we know will regenerate that bank account that we so desperately need. All the nutrients that will fill in the blanks, the antioxidants that we know can do powerful healing because free radicals are raging through our system. These are molecules that are caused by the toxic food we're eating and et cetera. And when we really eat these wonderful veggies, we're having the antioxidants that protect us from that free radical. But think of it like uh, rust proofing our car. Mm -hmm. We're rust proofing ourselves with eating this way. And exactly. that really helps to regenerate our tissues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you know, Michael Pollan has said, and now everybody's picked it up, mm -hmm. eat less, mostly fruits and vegetables. Yes. When do you eat the fruits? When do you eat the vegetables? Does it matter? What do you cut out of your diet, all of sure. the above? Well, the, the major thing to cut out of your diet is anything that's your particular allergy food. So I'd mm. love people to really sort that out. Journal your diet. And once we go on this, this, I really encourage a cleanse of eight weeks where we take out all the major trigger foods. In the book, I have a great chart that breaks it down into the red light foods, which we mm -hmm. know cause inflammation, mm -hmm. then yellow light foods that may cause inflammation if you're allergic to it, right. and then green light foods that we know are powerful anti-inflammatory healers. And if you eat a food you're allergic to, for instance, exactly. you have a great big cream puff. And the dairy and the sugar. And the dairy and the sugar and all of that. Yeah. And after you eat the great big cream puff, you feel how? Yeah, if you you're feel, allergic to it sure, or if you're sensitive feel. to it. Maybe sensitive yeah. is a better word. You often notice a mood shift. You, you see dark circles or digestive distress, bloating. You see uh, certainly a real issue with potential joint pain. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who have a gluten intolerance, it's showing up in their joints. So that's why the entire book is gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, corn-free, trying to take all the major triggers 
years out. Another one that people don't realize is white potato. White potato can be inflammatory to people with arthritis because that's a, a real alkaloid in it called solanine. And solanine can cause arthritic pain. Mm. So I just want people to check. It's not that it's inflammatory for everyone. It's a yellow list food. But it is a potential trigger. So on this diet, I actually remove all the, the, the potential allergens. Okay, if mm -hmm. you could take your magic wand and eliminate one food from our cupboards or from our refrigerators, take one food out, what would it be? White sugar. And the white reason sugar. why is white sugar spikes our insulin, which can drive inflammation mm. through the roof. And so much is hidden. Yes, so much is hidden, exactly. And that can be hidden, silent inflammation can cause major damage to the heart. And we don't know it until we're in the emergency room with our first heart attack. So that's why one in three people will have a potential cardiac issue in their lifetime, a circulatory issue, arthrosclerosis, mm -hmm. something like that. So I really want people to address inflammation before it gets out of control. Is there a test you can take? Go to your doctor, mm -hmm. say, I would like a test. I yes. want to know if I'm inflamed. Yes, the, the best marker is called the C-reactive protein test, mm -hmm. and that's a wonderful test for inflammation. I'd also love people to consider seeing a naturopathic doctor and getting their IgG allergy test done, because then they can sense whether they're sensitive to a food without having to go through this mm -hmm. crazy eight to ten week elimination program that right. I suggest. Sure. They get a real fast track to knowing what their inflammatory foods are. And some of the naturopaths and the homeopaths have machines now. Mm -hmm. As you know, you don't have to stand up and hold some corn in your hand to see if that might be a sensitive <laughs> food. But it, I it do seems, love the makes blood work. sense to me. Yes. The blood work is Yeah, I do I do uncanny. like the blood work. Yes. Mm. The blood work really shows accurately what is mm -hmm. an inflammatory food. Right, and some people who have a leaky gut or they, yes. they regurgitate a bit or mm -hmm. they are uh, always popping a Tums, mm -hmm. think it's just normal. Yeah, isn't that sad that people mm -hmm. start to live with inflammation as if it's just a normal state of aging. And what I want to say is let's look at the ancient cultures. Let's look at places within like Tibet, for instance, where people are 90 years old, they have wonderful sex lives, they're mm -hmm. truly happy and connected, they're living, they're thriving where people here oftentimes we start to accept pain as part of aging and I don't think we have to. No, we don't. But we and we can have a cup of coffee and we can have a glass of wine, right? Yes, let's if you hope. want yeah, if you want to take one of those steps, it's kind of like a dance. Take a step back, take mm -hmm. two steps forward. Enjoy the anti-inflammatory foods so that you can sort of compensate for the treats in your life sure. because coffee's okay as long as it's a good organic fresh roasted coffee. There's antioxidants mm -hmm. there and antioxidants in your red wine. So I'm not saying you have to be sinless. I'm just saying make sure that your choices are both good for you exactly. and delicious. And if you don't believe it, just try it. Yeah, exactly. Try it for a month exactly. and see if you feel any better. And if yes. you don't, you can go back to the old ways. Um, uh, you're a gourmet as well as a healthy person, a holistic nutritionist. So uh, in this book, like spicy rubbed bison tenderloin, mm. yum. <laughs> I love bison because the bison gets to feast on the grass. Because it's a mm. naturally raised, grass-fed grass animal, it's going to have higher amounts of omega-3. And omega-3 is powerful anti-inflammatory medicine. So that's that's why I suggest bison over your standard. Okay, beef. I slurp GLA oil. I don't know. Okay, I just there you slurp go. it. <laughs> and I, I don't think you can overdose, but I don't know. But it's so good for yeah, us. It's I so know good. that. And GLA is found in my hemp hearts, which is one of oh. my all time favorites. Mm. That's gamma linoleic acid, which is a wonderful hormone balancing fat. Mm -hmm. Really great for preventing hot flashes. A lot of ladies love to use it yes. for that reason. And it's also the hemp hearts are packed full of manganese, which is really good for ligaments and joints. Great for zinc, which is excellent for men's prostate, mm -hmm. so it's one of my all-time favorites. And they're good. They're so delicious, like a I know. pine nut cross with a pecan. A little bit. You can mm -hmm. sprinkle them on things. They're delicious, and so yeah. we have uh, hemp nuts. Oh, yes. look at breakfast. That looks oh, good. Tell delicious. me what's here, yeah, as if I can't see. <laughs> this is a quinoa. quinoa porridge, and quinoa is all the rage, but I really love it rolled because we can replace our standard breakfast cereal. People are eating wheat for morning, noon, and night, and when we overeat a food, it can potentially become an allergy. Mm -hmm. And that's so, the food we crave. Exactly. Very uh, good point. What you're allergic to, you crave. Yes, I love I love Often. your knowledge. It's amazing. Well. So there you go. We've got our wonderful maca as a seasoning. Maca
Yucca is a root vegetable from Peru, oh. and it's wonderful fertility, wonderful for men. It really gets them off the couch, gives them a ton of Maca. energy. Yes, yes, wonderful energizer. And that's the sprinkling on there, like a cinnamon. It's a spicy, wonderful, uh, delicious so addition. So spice more than anything, a maca. Yeah, the maca, which which you can take up to a teaspoon a day. It's mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. And then our wonderful coleslaw, our Asian coleslaw. Ladies have to keep in mind that hormonal imbalances can trigger inflammation as well. So I try to include lots of the cruciferous family of plants, like the cabbage, that really helps to uh, balance our mm. estrogen. And I can't uh, get enough of our fish oil. The Nutrici fish oil is so delicious because it's lemon flavored and filtered. So I can enjoy that as a salad dressing, which is so great. Very much. And I can slurp that too. Oh, yeah. You know, just yeah. it's good. Yeah, it's it fantastic. makes you feel, and apparently great for your skin. Oh, gorgeous. Great because for your it's skin. And it doesn't uh, help your organs, your internal organs. It must. Oh, it's totally anti inflammatory. It's mm -hmm. going to help uh, everything from our heart to our skin to our joints. They are canceling knee surgery in New York City and really encouraging people to try this as a therapy before knee surgery because it's so powerfully anti-inflammatory to joints. Right, and uh, I who have had surgery, I don't know if you have, but when you go in, the healthier you are, exactly, the better you come out. So mm -hmm. why not do all the preventive before you go in and if they yes. have to fix your knee or your hip mm -hmm. or whatever, exactly. uh, go in at, uh, feeling your best, so yeah. to speak. And, and have your salmon, friends bring this to you. Let me guess, that's wild salmon. Let yes. me just guess. Absolutely, that's a Organic, wild, yeah, wild uh, sauce on it? Yes, that's a wonderful mustard dill sauce which is really delicious with our high mm. polyphenol extra virgin olive oil mm. uh, I just love salmon of course you would probably eat tons of it oh, here yeah. in BC we have it's so much perfect. and do you eat fruit in the morning what do you eat in the morning yeah, breakfast sure. lunch dinner do you graze yeah for because myself, apparently we're supposed to stay away from too much fruit juice yes because it's so concentrated we don't want to spike our blood sugar because that can cause extra inflammation so I'm really into whole fruits but I love them as snacks I'll be honest I do dinner for breakfast I eat chicken in the morning with broccoli because that gives me the most energy and keeps me sustained mm. over the day. You but don't have cold pizza, people. I know. <laughs> no, but that makes sense. Protein in the morning, mm -hmm. so chicken, broccoli, mm -hmm. and you can make that broccoli and put a little sesame oil mm, and stuff on delicious. it and pop it. Yeah, and you're in my kitchen. <laughs> at some point, uh, you can have a fried egg, maybe, or maybe yeah. a boiled egg. Yeah, or the poached eggs are so delicious. Mm -hmm. Or berry pie or key lime pie. Mm, the key lime pie. Now, the secret mm. to my key lime pie is zero dairy, zero sugar. I'm sweetening it with honey, and I'm using avocado no. instead of cream. And you can't tell. It's so beautiful and so yeah. green and avocado is one of the best things for us oh, too so good but we have these fears mm -hmm. the, they're the fat fears you know get yeah. away from avocado and you go yeah. no it's a great food oh it's incredible yeah it's put it in key lime pie <laughs> exactly. and top it with a kale chip <laughs> why not you have recipe for kale chips in here i do i love mm -hmm. my kale I mean, kale is actually got the highest nutrient density index of any food on the planet really they've, they've got a cool scale called the andy scale that that shows uh, nutrient density and it's a thousand out of a thousand for nutrient density. So you're getting your most I'm all snacks. for that. Thank you so much Thank for you. having me on. I really appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you. Uh, Julie Daniluk, she is a holistic nutritionist. Meals that heal inflammation, her new book. Remember, you can catch all of our conversations on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at Fanny Studio 4 on Monday. Do we need